These days, somebody sets off some firecrackers to get about a 1,000 calls for a terrorist to learn. There was an explosion earlier this evening, and early reports went to a gas main. I got to go in. I think my kid is in there. My son was at the mall today, and I haven't been able to reach him. He lost your son. Me too. What was his name? Eddie. He just turned 15. Hello? Some things have happened to change the nature of this case. What do you mean? I thought it was a gas leak. The ATF has found evidence that there were two explosions at the food court that day. The first one was a bomb. Oh, my God. Did your son by any chance know this kid, Walter Munsef? They're starting an investigation. Oh, be careful what you say to her. You saw the article? Angry Muslim kid, always fighting with American kids. Father was a suspect during 9-11. Done checking the bedroom, ma'am? Anything? A couple of transmitters. Our suspect, a Pakistani-American juvenile. Oh, wait, Mr. Munsef, was your son involved in the blast? Your son killed Eddie. Are you aware of the fact that your kid was being bullied at school? What, are these the boys that you say were messing with my kid? Yeah. Then I want to talk to them. You can't talk to them, Leah, because two of them are dead and one of them is in a coma. That's a hell of a coincidence, don't you think? How does it feel now? How do you like everyone accusing you? He didn't do it. Carry me on your back. I know you're going through some tough times. Tough times. You know what I've been dealing with? As long as you can. You know one of those kids did it. Are you going to do anything about it? What we owe the community is the truth. Tried again. You made a terrible mistake accusing my husband. Don't do the same with my son. Don't leave me alone. But Eddie had nothing to do with it. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this with or without your help. But I'm alive. Do you think we'll ever know what happened?